Hi, it's Liz Sneedon. Let's have a look at finding the volume of cylinders. So when we talk about volume of cylinders, they've got the key idea, it's still a prism, and so we want to use the formula base area times the height. And so the base area is a circle, so we've got to remember the area of this for a circle is pi times the radius squared. So there's a couple of diagrams to show you, pi times the radius squared, and then multiply that by its height, and that gets you the volume. So remember, we always want to see label, working, answer, and units. So here's an example. We want to find the volume of this battery. So we've got some measurements, and so the first thing I need to do is find the base area. Now the base area is a circle, so the formula I want to use is pi times the radius squared. So when I look at my diagram, I've got this 18 millimeters, and that is going to be my diameter. So if my diameter is 18 millimeters, then the radius is half of that, which is 9 millimeters. So to find my base area, I'm going to say pi times 9 squared. And that's going to give me an area of 254.47 millimeters squared. Now I'm going to find the volume. And the volume of this is equal to the base area multiplied by the height. So my base area is 254.47 millimeters squared. And I'm going to multiply that by the height of 65.2 millimetres. And that's going to give me a volume of 16,591.38 millimetres cubed. Or I can also convert that into centimetres cubed. So I do that by dividing by 10 to the power of 3. And that will give me 16.59 centimetres cubed. So both of those answers are acceptable. Thanks very much for watching.